When I travel to a new place, there's always a moment of understanding. It's like a feeling of stepping into a new world. And the best part of this feeling is the way you enter in this new place will not be the same when you leave it. Iceland always piqued my curiosity, so we set course to this unique island to get a better understanding of its roots. Located in the North Atlantic, right next to Greenland, Iceland is a volcanically and geologically active island, generating multiple transformations over the years. Sheltering countless wildlife species, there is one that caught my attention. The journey started in Reykjavik, the capital. We knew that we had to go north to the West Fjords. It took six hours of driving to the lighthouse of Latabjark, hoping to see the birds we came looking for. For sure we did not expect this. A moment like no other. I was speechless. I was watching hundreds of birds flying free in their natural habitat. And suddenly, I was finally able to see this Icelandic frater cooler for the very first time in my life. This is a moment that I will never forget. Cold, raw, and not habitable for some. This place and everything that lives in it has developed its own way of living. A place where only a few are able to survive, but yet, this is a place full of life. A place where mountains of ice melt into giant rivers. A place where humans discover the enormous form of nature, much bigger than the life size. May 2019. I was walking on fragments of the biggest glacier of Europe, and it only took me a few minutes to realize that this giant is slowly fading away. Believe it or not, on this month was recorded 415 parts per million of CO2 in the air, the highest value ever recorded. It 
makes me sad to imagine a world unbalanced. A world without these giant glaciers. This is not just an island. This is home. Home for so many species. From the mountains to the sea, there are so many living beings counting on these resources. I know that everyone loves a good story, but there's something much more important than that, and that is consciousness. We do not own this place, we are part of this huge and complex living system. And for that, we should be more aware of what surrounds us. We should keep this special place like it once was. We should not forget to learn, learn and give back. This is also our home. This is all we have left.